welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking trash, or more specifically, my empty products for the last couple of months. So if this is something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay, I have quite a few pro products here, so I'm just going to kind of like dive in. There's not going to be really any rhyme or reason to this. I'm just going to grab and talk and tell you if I would repurchase them, give you like mini reviews real quickly because there are a lot of products here. So the first thing I have are these Batiste dry shampoos. Um, you guys probably already know that I love this dry shampoo. It is so affordable and it works really well. This one um, is in Sassy and Daring, Sassy and Daring Wild. And this one is Coconut and Exotic Tropical. Out of the two fragrances, I prefer this one. It's just a little bit softer and um, not quite as floral so but I like them both and I would repurchase both of these then I have this Bath and Body Works candle in summer boardwalk this scent is delicious if you guys can still find this in store go get all of them it was a summer scent but I feel like it can easily be a fall scent as well it says that the notes are like memories of the best summer spent at the beach, caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salted sweet cream. So I would say this could easily be burned through the fall. And last time I checked, they were more than half off on the website, and I will link those below because you need this in your life. Then I have this uh, conditioner. The Paul Mitchell Awapui Wild Ginger Smooth Mirror Smooth Conditioner. And you might recognize this from my favorites video for August, which I will link below if you missed it. Um, this is my favorite conditioner. It really does smooth the hair. My hair is really sensitive to humidity. And so I love this because I can tell that it makes a huge difference in the way that my hair blow dries. Um, it says it eliminates frizz and create superior softness so I will definitely be repurchasing this. This is the Aveda B Botanical Kinetics Purifying Cream Cleanser. Removes makeup and impurities. This was a monster bottle. It took me over a year to use this. I really liked it. It had a really nice clean scent. If any of you have ever used the Aveda products before, you'll know that they lean more toward the natural side, more natural ingredients. But I would definitely recommend this. And once I'm out of some other cleansers that I'm using, I may repurchase. And then I have like this little deluxe travel size black 15 in 1 miracle hair treatment. Um, is basically like a leave-in conditioner, like a detangler, and this is available, I believe, through Amazon. I'll link everything that I can below. Um, this wasn't my favorite leave-in conditioner. It does smell really good. It kind of smells like raspberries. Uh, to me, it smells like, like berries, but I think there are better ones. I really like, there's one I'm using up right now from Pureology that I really love. Um, I don't know, I probably wouldn't repurchase this one. And then I have a deodorant. This is my very favorite deodorant. It's the Old Spice Wolf Thorn. It, I know, I know, it's a men's deodorant, but I'm telling you, once you try it, you'll never buy women's deodorant again. At least I won't. I think it smells like, why do I think everything smells like berries? But it does, it smells like berries, and it just works so much better than any women's deodorant I've tried. So I have already repurchased this and will continue to do so. Next I have this Murad Anti-Aging Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 for blemish prone skin. Um, there's a little bit left in this tube, but honestly, and I hate to say this because I really do like the Murad brand, but this one with the SPF 30, it just really left my skin feeling kind of greasy. And you probably, well, most of you may know that I'm using that Cetaphil with the SPF now that my dermatologist recommended. Um, I talked about that in my dermatologist vlog. I'll link that below if you want to watch it. But this one, I, the Cetaphil, the drugstore, the drugstore face moisturizer, I like so much better. So I will probably not repurchase this. I used up a CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum with MVE Delivery Technology. I really like this and I really like, I, I think I would repurchase if I didn't have a retinol now prescribed to me from my dermatologist because this does have um, retinol in it which helps to like smooth fine lines, 
lightens hyperpigmentation. Anyway, it, is, it was a really good one for over the counter and I would recommend it, but now that I'm using this one that my dermatologist has prescribed for me, I probably won't repurchase this anytime soon. Here is a First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration Skin Protectant with Fab, with fab Antioxidant Booster. Used to hydrate dry parched skin, yada yada yada. Basically it's just a, a creamy moisturizer. I used it for my hands through the winter, last winter. It actually came in one of those Sephora gift sets that they have usually like around Black Friday. Um, I liked it, but I don't think that it's necessarily worth, worth the price tag. I think that you can find moisturizers at the drugstore that do exactly the same thing. So it was nice, but I probably won't repurchase. Here I have this Bosha Luminizing Black Mask, and it's a peel-off mask. And this was just a deluxe sample that came from Sephora. It was fun because it's one of those masks that you like smooth onto your face and then you let it dry and um, obviously you peel it off your face. And I was excited to try this because it's so hyped up on YouTube um, and I thought I would just do miraculous things for my skin, but honestly, I didn't notice a huge change. It was, it's fun to use to like pamper yourself one night. Um, and it didn't like do anything negative to my skin. I just didn't really notice any big changes. So I would not repurchase this. Okay, so here is a Eucerin Sensitive Skin Original Hearing, sorry, <laughs> Eucerin Original Healing Rich Lotion for very dry, compromised skin. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. Instead of the First Aid Beauty Lotion, I would just get something like this. Um, this I kept in my purse for to use as hand cream and it worked just as well if not better than the First Aid Beauty uh, cream in my opinion. So something like this I would recommend over that one. I'll link this below. I went through a lot of um, these samples that I've kind of been hoarding. This is the Belief, Belief the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. Um, and this one was just okay. It was good for... Um, a little bit left yeah probably my favorite thing about this is the scent it just smells like really clean and um, yeah just super clean and it is very moisturizing the thing about this that I was kind of like meh about is that it's very moisturizing yes but there's no other real skincare benefits um, attached to it it's just clinically proven to retain moisture for up to 16 hours so I guess if you have really super dry skin, this might be something amazing for you. But I kind of like something in my skincare that has like multiple benefits. So if it's like really moisturizing for my skin, but it also has some sort of like anti-aging ingredients or properties, um, that just makes me feel better about using a moisturizer at night. Maybe that's just like, maybe that's just me personally. I wouldn't repurchase or I wouldn't purchase the full size. And I used up another Bath & Body Works candle. This one's Lilac Blossom. This one is for those of you who like very strong floral scents because as the name suggests, it just smells like flowers. Um, the notes, it says, The bell of the spring garden, Lilac Blossom, is the ultimate spring floral. And yes, and it was very fun to, to burn through the spring and summer. I won't repurchase this until next season. Okay, here is another deluxe sample that I got from Target, I believe. It says Derma E Firming DMAE Eye Lift with Insta Lift and Advanced Peptides. Ba basically, this is an eye cream. It actually stung my eyes and kind of like burned the skin under my eyes and on my eyelid. So this was a, I didn't even finish it. I used it like maybe for a week and then I was like, nope. So um, maybe some other people have had different experiences, but if you have super sensitive skin like I do, then I would definitely pass on this. Okay, I used up a brow gel. This one was the L'Oreal, uh, the name has rubbed off. I think it was the brow, L'Oreal, I wanna say it was like the brow plumper. Um, this was okay, I got it in the wrong shade, so I can't give it a really per great review because it was in the wrong shade and so I was kind of glad when it was gone. Um, it's just, it's too light for me. I got the light medium and I should have gotten the medium dark. So it was a, it was fine. It did what it's supposed to do, but I don't think I'll repurchase it. I'm actually using one by NYX right now that I think I'm liking better. This is the Smith's Lip Balm in Minted Rose. And this is amazing. I love it. It smells 
like minted rose. Um, one thing I will say is this kind of packaging, like when you have to dip your finger in it over and over, is really kind of gets gross after a while and when you think about it, it's pretty unsanitary. I do know and I do actually have one that comes in a squeezy tube and I feel like that's a much better way to package it. So I will repurchase this, but in the squeezy tube, tube form. Okay, this one is a Co Bigelow Rose Salve. Same idea, this one just smells like roses. And honestly, I didn't make it through all of it because I don't like it. It's just really kind of greasy feeling on my lips. And I didn't feel like it was very hydrating at all. So I think I got this at Bath & Body Works and I would probably skip it. I won't repurchase this one. Okay, I went through... Um, from Influencer, I got a Vox box that had Ole Henriksen products in it. So this is the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Oil-Free Perfecting Cream with Vitamin C Complex, Licorice Root, and Pea Extract. And this is actually one of my favorite moisturizers. I loved it for day and for night. It sat really well under makeup. Um, and it also helps to fade hyperpigmentation, which I really love in my products because whenever I get a blemish, I just get hyperpigmentation so bad and it takes forever for it to fade. So I would definitely repurchase the full size of this um, after I go through some things that I'm working on right now, but highly, highly recommend this one. The very last item I have is this Maybelline Lash a Sensational Full Fan Effect Waterproof Mascara in Black. Um, I know a lot of people really love this formula and this mascara. For me, it was just okay. It has the wand that's um, more like that plasticky feel, and um, it's curved, which I did like to kind of like get in there and hug your lashes. But um, it's probably, it's just not one of my favorites. It kind of, even though it was waterproof, it did kind of transfer on me. And so I probably won't repurchase. And that's it for all of my empty products. It feels so good. I'm going to be able to throw all of this away and start over accumulating new products to talk to you about. And if you guys enjoyed this video, will you please give it a big thumbs up? And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.